What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. I don't know if you guys can see anything because the sun is so bright. Uh, it's literally like shining in my pupils. But I'm going to just jump straight into quote of the day for today. And quote of the day for today is, why isn't anything ever enough? I always struggle with this. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't just be happy with what I have. I always have to have something better and always have to have something better and better and better. And it's not necessarily a bad thing to want better for yourself. But it's like, dude, come on. I'm never satisfied with anything. I always need something bigger and better. Pause, but like for real. I always need something that's better than what I have right now. And like I said, it's not a bad thing to be. To, to want better for yourself but it's just like all the time man I accomplish something or I finish something and then I want more I want something new I want something better it's just, I never stop and appreciate what I have now I think the biggest example of my life of that is my my body like being proud of what I've built because I used to be scrawny dude I used to be skinny as hell and I'm still slim but I'm definitely not as skinny as I used to be and it's just kind of like every time I get like let's say like a new PR personal record or getting a lift or something I get it and then I immediately start thinking about the next PR I never I'm never like proud of myself bro. I don't know why I don't know why I always do this the same thing with like, getting this bike I got this bike had it for like two weeks and immediately started thinking about the next bike like bruh I just got this fucking bike like why do I do that to myself I'm never I'm never happy with what I have I always have to have something to do I always have to swing better. I can never just be fucking happy with what I have, bro. And I don't know why it's like that. It's like a cancer in my brain. And I, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get better at it, but it's just so difficult, dude. something better I always need something newer I always need some this and that and that, and that I can never just be happy with what I have man like me being proud of myself when I was able to buy this bike in cash bro I'm young I'm not even like I'm not old bro like I'm still a young person I'm not a child but I'm I'm an adult but I'm still young and I bought this bike in cash for 13k bro. and I after I bought it a couple weeks after I bought it, I started thinking about the next bike. Oh, maybe I get this bike. Oh, maybe I get this bike. Oh, you just bought this thing at a young age in cash. Bro, do you know how difficult that is for most people? And you're already focusing on something else? You can't just be proud of yourself for once? Like, that's just how so many things in my life are. And it's so difficult, man. It's so difficult to... to like just be happy for once with what I've got. And that's why I don't ever really try to focus on like monetary things or like materialistic things because I always end up wanting bigger and better things, dude. I can never be happy with what I have. So this is why I try to derive my happiness. I try to derive it from other things that are not monetary because materialistic I think those are like interchangeable but like man I can never just be glad with what I have I don't know man I think I'll get better at it as time goes on I mean like I said before I'm still a young person and I definitely do not have everything figured out It's 
it's just, it's always a struggle, man. It's always a struggle to, to be happy with what I have. There's an envy of goose over there, dude. That's an NBA goose actually. And you know, I don't know. I just get frustrated with myself, dude. Because I always do that to myself. I always fucking like downplay my accomplishments because I could do better. I'm never proud of myself. I don't know where that comes from. Obviously from somewhere in my childhood, but like I don't know what, bro. I learned that shit from somewhere, but I don't know where or who I learned it from. I mean, it's not a bad thing to want more for yourself, like I said, but like you gotta be happy with what you have to some degree, dude. You can't always just be going through life wanting more and more and more. Never celebrating yourself. That shit kinda got me in a low mood right now. It's just, bro. I mean, this this is a crazy machine. And I'm extremely grateful that I was able to be able to buy this at my age. Because most people are, are not as fortunate as I am. And I, nobody like gave me the money or anything. Like I worked for it. And so I don't understand why that's so hard for me to feel proud. Because I put so much fucking time and effort into getting this and then i get it enjoy it for a week or two and then i'm already on to the next dude i think that's all i can enjoy it for is a couple weeks and then i'm already thinking about something else so, bro i literally already started thinking about getting an rc4 bro dude i've had this for like i've had this bike for like probably a month and a half two months now no, probably like a month and a half. A month and a half, and I'm already thinking about a new bike, bro. Come on. It's just like, dude, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep working on myself to fucking figure out how to deal with that shit. I think that all kind of leads back to just comparison, bro. I compare myself to this dude. my age and has a S1000 double R or something, I don't know, whatever it is, but like, I compare myself. Constantly compare myself to people. I hope the glare is not fucking up the camera too much, or I mean the sun the glare. You know, for like as long as I can think, I've pretty much done this my entire life. Always not being satisfied enough with what I have and always needing more. I don't know, man. 
I'm gonna just stop repeating myself though, because I don't have anything else really to say about it besides that. And I'm sure people will deal with it, so I mean, if you do too, you're not alone, bro. Because I feel that shit all, like every day, dude. Every day. every day I fucking have a problem with it. It's just, uh, it's, yeah. It could be the smallest little things too. Dude looks like Joe Biden. Bro, why do so many guys look like Joe Biden, bro? I genuinely want to know. I get one good rip on the course in right now. Right now. I'm also just kind of enjoying the sunset. That's why I'm not talking that much. Like turn left on red. You go bugging.
Oh no, this person's going on the mini course. I don't want to be behind them the whole time. I'm gonna have to loop back around, bro. course run that's all right it's all right it's all right i don't okay here's the thing i don't know if our lines if those are considered dotted lines or not i really have no fucking idea i don't know if those are solid lines or dotted lines because our lines are like different in vegas bro look at me in the shadow that's like so like cool that's like a silhouette as hell in the mirror. Are they building, oh they're building like something in the middle here? Wait, that's kind of cool. I think this is a racetrack they actually designed this like so fun though it's like so dude that is so nice it's like a circuit kind of a circuit there's like always a cop here i swear Maybe there's not today, but I right. ain't no cops lurking in the parking lot right here. Dude, that is so nice. There is a police station right here, though, so let me chill. Look at that, dude. So nice, man.
could ride off into the sunset. I feel like this is probably getting kind of long, so. End off the video, the video there with a beautiful ride into the sunset. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, spread some love, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.